Hi everybody, let's make a paper clarinet. So we're going to need a sheet of A4 paper. Well actually it's 160 GSM card which is about twice the thickness of normal photocopying paper. And we're going to wrap it around a bit of 16 millimeter diameter tubing. In this case it's a bit of polypipe tubing or PEX tubing which is easily available. And it could be an aluminium tube or anything that's 16 millimeters diameter. Now we're using sellotape to roll all the way down one way and then back the other way. So there's two thicknesses of sellotape that are holding it all together and you'll notice that there are already some markings on the paper and at the end of this video there's a, tep a template that you can do a screenshot of and then print it out onto A4 paper. All of the information is on that template. So now we're using scissors to cut the finger holes and so those finger holes are diamond shaped and the size of them is marked on that template and we're going to cut diagonally in one direction and there are seven finger holes and one thumb hole. Uh, the actual instrument is in C major. The lowest note will be C, middle C. And we're going to use an alto sax mouthpiece with a small bit of this PEX tubing insert, a 16 millimeter diameter tube. But that information of the length of that tube uh, is also on that template at the end of this video. So as you come back cutting the other way, that cuts the little diamond shape and so the little diamond shape actually falls out leaving the finger hole. If it doesn't um, come out you can just sort of pull it out. And then we're going to cut it uh, to length and after we've cut it to length then we're going to be able to insert the little bit of pipe that is inside the alto sax mouthpiece. So here we're ready to go and let's see what happens. Okay inserted and we're ready to go. Yes, it's as easy as that. That's as easy as this, let's see. And here's the template that I promised. So that's got all of the information. It's got the measurements, the positions of the finger holes, the size of the finger holes, the notes, uh, the size of the PEX tube that fits into the alto saxophone mouthpiece that you need to have. And the fact that it's 160 GSM paper doesn't have to be, but that um, is probably the ideal thickness. Uh, so make a screenshot and print it out.